everyone today is going to be something that is a very kind of different video for me I generally don't ever use a lot of drugstore products um, but there are a couple products that I think the drugstore really got and nailed down to a T so I kind of wanted to create a look that is mostly all drugstore products and then kind of tell you my holy grail drugstore products that I do use on the regular. Some products obviously just I can't find anything that's better than what I use that's high end. So those products I will also be using in the video but I will mainly be trying and focusing on drugstore items. So I don't have a primer that's drugstore. I did look through my collection of primers and there's literally not even like a tiny sample of something that's drugstore. So I'm just going to be going in with my backup backlight priming filter. This is about as good as it's going to get. I just need it out of my face for the foundation step, um, which I will be going in with foundation. So I'm very generally impressed with the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 foundation and concealer. I have it in the color natural. So first I used this on my friend actually who wanted to buy some new makeup and she's like, hey, like come shopping with me. You know what you're talking about. So I went and she's like, I really want to just stop into the drugstore and kind of pick up some things because she had like nothing. And you know, I've heard a lot of reviews on this and I actually really love the way that it came out on her skin. So I picked one up myself. I'm going to go with two pumps. So it is a little bit thick, so I'm not going to go ahead and disperse all of it just yet. I'm leaving some on my hand. Um, this is a little bit thicker of a formula, but it covers really well, and it just looked very beautiful on her skin. And I was like, wow, why is this not in my collection right now? And I picked it up, and I really do like it. So, so for concealer, you guys have seen me use this about a million times. That's the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind um, Concealer, and it looks like this. Holy grail, I honestly will even use this on brides. It's so good. It lasts forever. It's super cheap. Like, it doesn't crease. It just lasts you quite a while. Like, I can't say enough good things about it, to be very honest. And, you know, concealer is something that you use on a daily basis, and you use a lot of it. So something that's cheaper will definitely take you a long way, and you don't have to really worry about, you know, how much you're using or go sparingly, so you can really build up the coverage and not worry about having to spend another, you know, $20, $30 on a concealer when you have to buy a new one. So like I said, I don't have a setting powder that is drugstore, so I'm going to be using my Laura Mercier and just kind of setting my face with this shit. So now that that is set, I'm going to jump into bronzing. So for bronzer, I really do love the Butter Bronzer. This is in the... I think this is just the regular bronzer that there there is a light bronzer but that was just too light on me um, it does come with a little brush that I like never use it's kind of like a spongy like I don't even know what you would use this for um, so I don't really use that I'm just gonna use this Kat Von D brush dip into this and really warm up my face the only con about this is that it smells super tropical and I really don't like the way that like products sometimes are infused with smells that clearly shouldn't be there like really is a bronzer ever gonna really smell like a tropical beach like it's not but this is definitely one of the best bronzers out there for the price it just blends out so beautifully it's not too harsh it's not too warm but it's also not too cool tone where you're gonna look like you're dead it's just everything that you would want in a bronzer or you know contouring shade i'm gonna take some of the translucent powder once again and kind of clean up the areas and while that is just kind of chilling on my face i can go ahead and move to my eyes which i'm gonna let my hair down for this for eyeshadows i'm gonna be using the jaclyn hill and morphe collaboration for each little shadow pan that's in here it's about a dollar and a, a dollar and a little bit so these are definitely very very cheap eyeshadows so i'm just gonna go in and create a very simple look i want to say i don't want to go too crazy with my eyes so I'm just going to be dipping into these two colors right here as my transitions. And these are definitely my holy grails because they're super pigmented. They blend out like a dream. Like this is just definitely a step up for Morphe. I know that they used obviously, you know, the double milling process, all brand new machines, whether they bought it or rented it. So this is definitely 
very out of the ordinary for, for Morphe, I would say. And I do really hope that they will incorporate this into their other shot, you know, into their other... And I really hope that they will incorporate how well they did with this palette into other palettes that they do create from now on. And I kind of want to um, deepen this up, so I'm going to go in with this color right here in my crease and my outer corner. I'm going to keep this eye very simple. I don't want to spend a lot of time on my eyes today, but I do want a nice little smoky look that will go with the outfit that I'm wearing. And these, this is a little bit more expensive than normal Morphe eyeshadow palettes, but you know, it is Jaclyn Hill. She does have a pretty, like, huge name. Um, and like I said, the quality of these are much higher than all other Morphe shadows. So I really did not mind paying that extra money. So for the actual lid, I want to keep it simple and go in with this color right here all over the lid. So I'm going to take a flat definer brush and just put this all over my lid. And that's literally as much as I'm doing with my eye. I'm going to do my other eye and I will be right back. Um, and what I also did when I finished up the eyes, I mixed these two colors right here with the small little inner corner brush. And I put that in my inner corners. Also, I took the same color combination that I did on the top lid and kind of just smoked it out on the bottom. What I also want to say about the concealer right here is that it's also a good eye base. Obviously, you can just chuck some on on your eyelid and then set it with some powder and then start working on your eyeshadows. Next, what I want to jump into is going to be liners. So I don't actually have a black one, but I really do like the NYX Vivid Brights. Um, it's a little liner like this. Obviously, it doesn't really go with my outfit or my clothes today, but these are a tad bit dry. So when you do use them, you want to make sure that you get it kind of in one swipe instead of having to reapply a lot of layers. They are fairly pigmented. But when you do add a little bit of layers, they kind of tend to crack, but they still look beautiful. They wear a very long time. And I do really, really enjoy them. And they have really beautiful colors as well. And they're obviously very cheap. So I have two drugstore items, eyelashes and glue that I use over anything that's high end. So I am obsessed with a duo brush on adhesive with vitamins. It's the little green tube um, and it has a little brush part to it instead of a little like squeezy tube. I love this. And then these are my lashes that I literally could wear on an everyday basis. These are the Ardell Demi Wispies. Um, Everything about them is absolutely perfect. They are cheap. They are super easy to apply. I think if you're a beginner with lashes, these are your best bet. The band is thin and it's not black, um, which makes it very easy to hide your lashes even if you're not wearing any liner. I'm just going to go and pop a pair on and I will be right back. So <laughs> the mailman just knocked on my door and delivered like two big old boxes and I literally, I'm not quite sure. All right, ha, <laughs> got a little distracted. You know, I'm just on a PR list, had to open some stuff, so um, holy cow. Next, what I would wanna talk to you about is the Voluminous Lash Paradise Waterproof Mascara. So it's this, um, absolutely can say that it is one of my favorites, honestly. So a lot of people want to say that the Lash Paradise is very similar to the Better Than Sex. I did a video on this and I think that the wand is very different, the formula is very different. Um, the only thing that's really similar would be the packaging because it's like metal-y and um, light pink, but formula-wise it's definitely not. But it is, of course, a very, very, very amazing mascara for the price that it is. Okie dokie, artichoke. Next, what I want to do is fill in my brows. You guys have seen me use this multiple times on my channel for brows. This, I honestly would say that is very comparable to the Anastasia Brow Wiz or Brow Definer. Whichever one has the tiny one, I always confuse the names. This has a spoolie on one side and the product on the other side. I think the spoolie is actually very good. Um, and the formula is a little bit creamier than the Anastasia product, but I think price-wise, totally worth your money, and it does a beautiful job. So I'm just gonna fill in my eyebrows very quickly. And by quickly, I obviously meant 500 years later. Next would be my lips. Um, 
I am obsessed with the NYX lingerie liquid lipsticks. They are very long wearing, not extremely drying actually. I think the colors that they have selected for the NYX lingerie are to die for. They're generally like very subtle and nude colors, which I personally think are very, very sexy. This one is a little bit of a gray tone. This is corset. I like other colors as well, but I just wanted to pull this one. I have been wearing this actually a lot. Mixed with strip down underneath, it creates a more brownie color, but since that is a non-drugstore item, I'm just gonna go and pop this on. So it's not extremely different from my actual like lip color, but it is a little bit more of the like gray tone from my lips, which are a little more pink toned. And last but not least, the drugstore product that I have that I love dearly is the Matte Finish Finny Matte by NYX. This is a long-lasting setting spray. I can't say that it's better than my all-nighter setting spray, but it does come fairly close, and the spray is actually pretty decent on this, so I'm just gonna go and set my face right now. And on the spots where it does kind of, you know, become a little bit splotchy if it does on you, like it does on me sometimes, that's not a huge problem because if you take a little beauty blender and you dab it out, it absorbs into your skin and doesn't leave little blobs everywhere. Something that I can definitely deal with um, for, you know, saving a little bit more money. There you have it, guys. These are my holy grail drugstore products. This is what most of them look like on the face. I am actually really happy with the way that this came out. It's a very beautiful and simple look, not too overpowering. The products are very long lasting. They're very high quality. They're very affordable. And I think that if you haven't tried some of these products, these would be very good to pick up for the holidays to, you know, make sure that you feel your best. And if you have any other products that I personally have not found that are drugstore that you use that you think are amazing, do let me know. I'm always looking to save a couple dollars in some kind of way. So switching some of my more high-end products for something drugstore would definitely save me a lot. So I hope that you enjoyed this and I hope that this helps and I'll see you the next one. Bye.